I just recently learned a really, really cost-effective, inexpensive way to make your own steel eaters and to tie your own steel eaters onto whatever you really want. And I want to show you guys. So lately I've been getting bitten off a lot, a lot, a lot by bluefish, by Spanish mackerel, by shark, by just fish with a lot of teeth. And honestly, it's a real pain in the butt to, to have to keep retying and keep losing my expensive lures. I mean, look at how much this cost me. Six dollars for this lure right here. And to only catch one or two fish and then lose your lure, it really, really, it's really inconvenient. So I really think that using steel leader might prevent me losing as many lures. Now, the other day, our friend that we met on the island here, his name is Bill and his son, Matt. He, they came by and showed me how to tie these up, how to use this steel wire and custom tie it onto whatever you want. And it was actually way easier than I ever thought. So I'm gonna try doing this again and show you guys what they taught me. And then I'm gonna see if it works any better than using monofilament and using other leaders. So let's get started. This is very minimal. All you're gonna need is this steel wire, pliers, two-way swivels, which I keep in a medicine bottle, and your lure or your hook or whatever you wanna to attach to it, steel wire. So first of all, let me show you what a finished product looks like. This is what they taught me. This is called a haywire twist into a barrel roll right here. What an interesting name, huh? Anyways, it's really easy to tie, really easy to put together. It requires a little bit of dexterity and a little bit of time, but I think it might it might uh, help prevent a lot of lost lures. Now I know a lot of people say that if you put a steel leader on, you're gonna get a lot less fish. That may be true, but what I've been experiencing here is that there are a lot of bluefish and a lot of Spanish mackerel, and if I'm trying to catch those fish, when they're hungry, they, don't, they do not care. They'll eat anything. They'll just keep hitting. And to have to keep losing my lures really stinks. I don't want to keep buying more and more of these. So I'm going to show you guys how to tie a steel eater on. So first we'll take this gotcha plug out. There we go. Next, we're going to put the steel eater through the eye right here. And then we're going to bend it over. Okay. Then we're going to take the pliers and hold it into place like this. And what we're going to do here is just do the haywire twist. And the first one we're going to do about three twists. And don't do it very close together. Give it a tiny bit of space in between each of them. So two to three twists. That's the haywire twist. Now we're going to go and do the barrel roll, which is this part right here. You see how tight together it is? I'm gonna do four to five wraps like that next. This is the barrel roll part. Okay. And this works, this kind of um, knot here works well for kingfish on the pier as well. Just a great way to tie steel leader. So that's almost it. Now we're gonna break this off. And we can do that a clean break by going up and down, up and down in this motion like this, look. We're just gonna go back and forth, back and forth until it just snaps right off a clean break. Broke right off. And that's the first part. Now we're gonna do that one more time at the top right here, except this time we're doing it with the swivel. And now look, I've got a lot of different kinds of swivels in here. Some are bigger than others. I wanna use the smallest swivel I can find because the ones that are too big, if it's too flashy, the fish are literally gonna attack the, 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 the actual swivel. And you don't want it to attack the swivel because your line is attached to the other side. So I'm going to pick a small one like this. I'm going to do the same thing. Put it in and bend it in half, giving yourself enough room to do both the, the Haywood twist and the barrel roll.
Okay. Well, I'm missing one wrap, but I think this will be just fine. But for the record, I would probably do one more wrap. And there we have it. This is how you tie on steel leaders. Well, this is one way to tie on steel leaders. And it was really simple. Might be an effective way to stop losing lures. So now let's go take these lures out to the beach and uh, see if we get bitten off. Okay, so it's the next day. I've got my steel leader here. I'm gonna tie this up. Fish are, uh, I see some birds moving up and down the beach line. I think it's a good time to start searching for some fish. And uh, who knows, I might get on a nice pot of fish right away. So I'm tying this with a, just a, a dance clinch knot. There you go. And there we have it. I'm gonna bring one more of them just in case. Some pliers, a rag. And this is hopefully all I will need. It's just one or two gotcha plugs. I mean, maybe I'll get bitten off. If I get bitten off, it's because they bit up top here. If I get bitten off, it'll be because it got bitten right here. But I don't think it will be. Let's go. So I've got all this beach land over here that I can try. I'm just gonna walk up and down this entire beach line until I find a pot of fish. the ones that will just bite your monofilament right off. The thing is, their teeth are so sharp that it can cut through mono really easily. And a lot of times they might even attack this little bit right there, so you're still not 100% guaranteed. But it's, it's some protection. Some is better than none. Hold on! That's a nice one. I saw it smack the surface. Nothing like light tackle surf fishing. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. I'll keep that one. I can play that for a skin later. Do you notice anything different about casting or using it with the steel leader? I notice that it kind of it kind of changes the action a little bit. It doesn't glide the same way. But I'm still hitting fish, so, and I'm not losing the lure. That's the most important part. Yeah, you could have lost your lure twice by now. I could have easily lost my lure twice by now. Okay, let's move spots and, and go down the beach a little bit more to see if we can find anything else. I've been casting for a little bit, haven't found anything. I found two fish though, and lost. Zero lures. There's just a lot of weeds in the surf right now. 
And usually when there's a lot of weeds in the surf, that means that the sound side, it means it's a good time to check the sound side. Maybe the sound side is a little more protected from the wind. I think the seaweed is blowing in from, with the wind. Maybe the sound side will have uh, less weeds, maybe there'll be more fish. But I'm catching fish still with the weeds, so I'm gonna try for a little bit longer. All right, so now we are making our way to the sound. We just came off the beach. We're driving the back path to get to the other side, which is protected by the wind. I think there'll be less seaweed there, maybe some different fish. I saw a mullet jump right here. I just saw more. Let's try it. I'll try it. It's so sunny and nice out now. We drove past the rain clouds. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Holy crap. Good thing I have a steel leader on. Let's see if it actually holds up. Good luck. That, 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 that girl. What do you think it is? Probably a I have no idea. Honestly, I really don't know. I'm thinking maybe a shark. On a gotcha? Or a ray. I don't know. I tell you, anything will hit a... Anything... Oh, it's a huge ray. You want to take a turn, Aaron? Sure. It's going to be here for a while. Here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. It's huge. Oh. It's the tiniest reel, Brendan. <laughs> That's. Well, do you think you can be able to bring that in? It doesn't crank in. Use the power of the rod, Aaron. Use the power of the rod. Okay. Also, don't let it take you too much, too much line out. If it's going to the right, go to the right with it. Okay. You've got all this beach oh. to fight it. Oh my God. Hey, look at our truck. It's taking us all the way over here so far. You got this girl, come on. Oh! No. oh! It's okay, that thing was way too big. That thing was way too big. Is there? Is the lure still on there? I don't, I think so, I feel something. Okay. Well, let's see, this is the real test. Did it break it? I saw it, it was a gigantic ray out there. Oh, the lure's still here, yeah! We didn't lose it! Good job! Well, that goes to show that the steel leader, I mean, fish still bite it. And it's less likely to lose it. All right. That's pretty ridiculous. Maybe we snagged it. I don't know. I've never heard of a ray hitting a gotcha plug. No. But it felt like boom. That was fun. Look at how far it pulled us. Was that my first cast? I'm pretty sure. I had to turn that drag all the way up. Otherwise it would have spooled you out. Like feel it. It was big. Feel it, feel this. Ah, try and pull it, try and pull it. I don't want to cut myself. Ah. See, so that was a really big fish. Oh. So that big fish held up. 
that was a really big fish and it held like look at the look at the coils it did not unwrap whatsoever like i was supposed to do some more wraps with the barrel roll right here but it, this worked out now at least i know it's strong enough to handle something bigger i mean that thing was massive right it was i thought that was a really good test me too This could be a really good video. <laughs> Bit with the steel eater on, no problem. That was my first cast. Well, there's the fish. Look at how it perfectly blends in with the sand. And I think it's just like waiting down there for something to ambush it. And when it does, it's just like, you know, it's really pretty crazy looking fish. That was unexpected, my first cast. So we came to the sound side to see if anything would bite the, the gotcha plug here. Hey, do you see this? Look at this. All these little bait fish are trapped right here. See them? Oh, yeah, I do. They're like... They can't go out. No, they're trapped. Look. Huh. Same idea, except in the surf, you know? In the, sa in the surf, they get trapped in these sandbars, these troughs, because the waves are just too strong for them to swim out, and the tide is too low for them to swim over. Something. Whoa, what is this? Oh, it's another lizard fish. Wow, that's two huge lizard fish in a row. Can you hold this? Taking the gotchas? Yeah, they're taking gotchas. Whoa. Wow, those are two piece fish. See how they are. And you want to give it a try? Sure. All right, so we've got a special volunteer here. It's a very special one. We're gonna catch your first lizard fish, right? Okay, first cast it out as far as you can. Just cast it way out there. Cause you wanna cover as much water as you can. Now, close the spool. Oh my gosh. Yes, close the spool and reel it in. Okay, let it sink. And now just, just like give it some jerks back, yeah. Uh, let it sink and just jerk it back. You'll feel it. You can do different speeds if you want, but I say just, just do it one speed coming back and then do another speed after you cast again. Once you get past the dark blue spots over there, I would just bring it in fast because oh, okay. it's just really, it's really shallow there. Oh, but you, you see, all the, you see all the mullet? Yeah, I see all the mullet there. Okay, cast it as far as you can. Do you see that darker blue water? We want to hit that, that's the channel. We're going to try and fish the edge of that channel. And honestly, you can wade out there. You want to wade out there, you'll probably get more fish. Nothing, huh? Interesting. Maybe, do you let it sink when you initially? What is this? Another? This is another huge one. You see how sharp these teeth are? This would just easily bite through. This could easily bite through like monofilament or like another kind of like braid or something. With the steel eater, you don't have to worry about losing your fish to that. I think the main takeaway for this is, although I wouldn't use a steel leader to catch stuff like red drum and trout and you know like certain game fish 
If you're targeting those fish with sharp teeth, you might as well use a steel leader. Otherwise, be okay with losing more lures. Does that make sense? Wow. I wouldn't use a steel leader to catch like trout or like redfish or flounder or like anything like that. It would just be if I was just trying to catch Spanish mackerel or I was just trying to catch bluefish, that's when I would use that. The lizard fish is chilling. What? He's chilling. But look at how he blends into the sand. Okay, so I think that that was a really great test to see if these steel ears work. Uh, I, this was really simple to just tie up myself. I mean, it can definitely use some work, but it held up to some pretty big fish. The, the knot didn't come loose. I ended up hooking up to a, a good amount of fish. Uh, it's not that they don't bite it, but I didn't find that it was moving the lure the same way. Um, the, the downside for the, the steel eater is it does not look as natural and you won't be catching as many like trout or redfish, you're, you're limiting yourself to what kind of fish you're gonna catch. The great news is that I did not lose a single lure. This one lure caught all those fish without me losing my, my entire setup. And honestly, that was my goal with, with using the, um, the steel eaters. I didn't wanna keep losing my lures because Spanish mackerel and bluefish kept taking it. And I didn't get any less bites. I got a good amount of bites using this wherever I went. If you're targeting sharp teeth fish, use one. If you're not and you're targeting game fish, they're not necessarily going to want to hit anything with a steel leader on it. Also, if you're running low on lures and you really can't afford to lose any more, you should probably put a steel leader on at least one of them. Because if you're already losing a lot of your lures to fish, you might as well not lose that last one. So yeah, I mean, I would definitely tie on another one next time I'm going for Spanish mackerel and stuff like that. Bluefish, definitely. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you next week.